Hey, what's up, everybody? Sorry, my the sun's kind of like up here, um, so this my video might look kind of funny. Um, so I was thinking this morning about um, this is kind of a concept that I have. Um, it's not unique to me, but something that I that I focus on in um, as a counselor when I help people, also as a wellness coach, um, uh, when I work with people. Um, which is there's a lot there's a there's a really big push out there for um, for kind of like mindset and manifestation and law of attraction, um, which I, all stuff that I think is really great. I, I've talked about this before in other videos, um, but my experience with all of that was I did a lot of that years ago when um, I was not doing so well. So like. I had, you know, either I was not sober and not doing well, or I was, um, you know, sober and like, you know, I had a lot of anxiety and stress and overwhelm in my life um, and depression. And it was kind of like this, I had this idea because I read a lot of self-help books um, that if I just if I just get in the right job or if I just, you know, have a certain, the right relationships, if my, and it's kind of like, and, and, you know, sort of like arranging the outside to sort of make my internal condition feel better. Um, and some, and, and so the, the law of attraction manifestation, um, really what it comes down to is it's self actualization type stuff is all fantastic and by the way I'm in that part of my life where um, where I don't have the anxiety the depression you know the the substance use the addictions um, so I'm in the place in my life where I'm self actualizing but I, I couldn't do that before I really um, attended to really the baseline of my internal condition um, which I could only do by, by looking inward. Um, it, it, you know what I mean? And so I had to be comfortable with everything on the outside inwardly and change what was going on with me internally before I could step back and say, okay, what do I want with, what do I want for my life? What, do, what are the things that I, where do I want to live? Where do I want to work? What, what, what is the career that I want to have? Um, it just never worked the other way for me um, and I think a lot of people fail with um, with law of attraction stuff because of that they 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 know what they want and they do the it's like I would sit there and try to visualize what I want but then I would have all these like all these doubts and fears and things that I that it couldn't happen you know so it's really about starting to work with with that stuff before I set out to kind of like get the life that I want and then one one other concept here was that when I when I started doing the 12-step the process there's a there's a really great um, concept of surrender in there where we surrender our will and our lives over to the care of God and that sounds like a big a really big deal but really what it is is it's a yielded will it's the idea that I'm gonna step back just a little bit in my life and stop trying to make decisions about everything that I'm not sure will work out okay. You know what I mean? Uh, it doesn't mean that I can't move forward and have plans and goals and have a vision for my future. It just means that I yield a little bit in terms of my own self-will that those things will happen in like, you know, the you know time frame that that will happen, um, how exactly that would happen. So. I could get more into that, but that's just a concept, and that really helped me to kind of sit, to, to to relax a little bit, start to work on myself inwardly, um, and a lot of that the the way that I got better and started to heal from the anxiety and the depression and the overwhelm was things like meditation, prayer, intensive twelve step work, eating healthy, you know, doing all these things to cultivate wellness in my life. And, 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 and sort of solving that internal issue to a point where I have a daily routine that I utilize. That's why I, I get on here and I tell you about my book, um, Steal My Daily Routine, which you can get a copy of below. Um, but I, I cultivate a daily routine that I have this baseline of wellness in my life and now I, now I can do 
the self-actualization stuff, the visualization stuff, the, the, um, law of attraction stuff. Um, but I couldn't do that before. It's like putting the, whatever the, the cart before the horse kind of thing. So anyway, I just wanted to jump on. I've been thinking about that lately. And, um, I, you know, I think a lot of people fail to, um, to, to kind of get what they want in life because they, they sort of leave these, this internal condition unattended. Um, and they, they think that if they arrange things on the outside, that that's going to equal your being okay on the inside. And I think it, it goes the other way. And that's what I try to focus on when I help people, both in my clinical practice and in my coaching, wellness coaching practice. So anyway, thanks for listening. And uh, let me know if you have any, any questions, comments. And, you know, if you want to join my Facebook, private Facebook community, go to wellnessseekerscommunity.com. Or uh, grab a copy of my book below um, this video. All right, thanks.